welcome back in this tutorial we will solve some exercises based on what we learn in previous tutorial so we will be creating this object and this object so these two objects we will be creating so let's start with first object so for this object okay at first we will start part designs click on start mechanical design part design then in this object first we will have to create this rectangle of 66 by 42 sides so click on sketch now we want it to be horizontal so we will take this horizontal plane then we will draw a rectangle from the center center rectangle give the center point second point then using constraint give the dimensions the parameters so this is 66 and this is 42 ok then exit workbench ok it came like like this we want it like this so we will alter the dimension so this is 42 this is 66 exit workbench then we will have to make pad from this of 12 thickness so click on pad then select the rectangle and give the thickness of 12 ok zoom fit so this bottom plate is ready then next is this side plate so again so we want to create it on the back so again we will create one sketch just orbit it and select this surface we want to create it on this surface or you can also create from this surface support also suppose I want to create it from the back surface zoom fit click on zoom fit pan it then take the rectangle command rectangle suppose create it then click on this line press ctrl and click on this line then click on constant defined in dialog box and select coincidence ok same way this line control this line constraint coincidence again this line this line constraint coincidence now we want the height to be of 60, uh, 60 from the bottom so we will give constraint from this line to this bottom line is 60 enter then exit workbench then uh, click on isometric view zoom fit then create a pad click on pad now I want it to be on this side so click on this arrow so it will come inside give the thickness thickness is 12 ok click on ok after this actually I will need a curvature here so for that we will use this this command tritangent fillet so click on tritangent now faces to fillet is this face and this face then face to remove is upper this face then click on ok so this curvature is ready then next next is these two chamfers so of 12 12 size so for that click on this chamfer button then select this edge and this edge then select then give the length of 12 and 45 degree means both will be the equal then click on ok so in this way these two chamfers are created of 12 size then this triangle so this triangle is on this center plane vertical plane so select that plane and click on sketch zoom fit 
then create one triangle here using profile command then select this line control this line constant define in dialog box coincidence okay same way this line this line constant define in dialog box coincidence okay then the parameters so this point is touching this line so again we will select this point and this vertical line by pressing and holding control button again constant define in dialog box coincidence this line length will be automatically extended up to this line now the height of this line for that we will use constraint click on the line and give the parameter so height is 42 so just double click and give 42 so this triangle is ready then click on exit or bench then again pad select the triangle now I want pad to be 50 50 on either side so I will use mirror extent and I will give here the half width so width is 12 so I will give here 6 then ok so in this way this part is ready so next now we will take the next part so next part is this one now in this also we will create at first a rectangle of 98 by 42 so click on start mechanical design part design then ok then sketch select this horizontal plane again then rectangle from center then constraint so here actually we want it to be 42 and this is 98 so here we will give 42 and vertical will be 98 then click on exit workbench so it is created in the same way we wanted it so then we will have to create a pad of 20 so click on pad select the rectangle 20 is already there so click on ok zoom fit isometric then next so we want to suppose cut this portion 14 from this side 14 from this side and 6 is the width suppose so we will take again sketch select this surface then create one rectangle then give the parameter click on constraint so this vertical line and this line distance is 14 same way constraint this line and click on this line and this line again 14 constraint this line and this line the gap is 6 and select this line control this line then coincidence so this shape is properly created 14 from both side and 6 is the height of that rectangle then exit workbench then we want to cut it so we will select pocket click on pocket then we want to cut it through completely so we will take here up to last so it will cut the complete up to last then we can see it by preview so it has been it has cut the complete then click on ok isometric zoom fit so this bottom portion is ready then next we will suppose create this one this portion so for that we can create a rectangle or we can also create this 14 by 42 rectangle here on the top of this surface that is bottom this is 14 and this is 42 and height will be 21 plus 21 it is 40 so again select sketch select this surface and select rectangle 
center rectangle click on the center point and click then select this line press ctrl select this line in constraint define in dialog box coincidence ok then constraint click on constraints select this line and give the width of 14 so here is 14 enter then exit workbench then again pad and height is of 42 21 plus 21 plus 21 that is 42 ok then again we want it circle here so that we will create using tritangent fillet again tritangent fillet faces to fillet will be this face and this face then face to remove will be this ok then one cut is there at a distance of 21 and 20 dia so again sketch select this surface create a circle give the constraint is 20 dia and it is actually concentric to this circle so you can select this circle press ctrl and select this circle then click on constraint define in dialog box and select concentricity ok so it is fully defined then exit workbench then convert this into pocket so again pocket is up to last is already selected so just click on ok so this cut is ready then next will be this circle this hole of 12 dia at a distance of 24 from this line so again we will sketch select on this surface then create one circle in line with this v axis then give the constraint from this center point to this axis so it is 24 so make it 24 enter then constraint select this circle and give the diameter of 12 double click 12 then exit workbench and pocket click on pocket again up to last is already selected so ok so it has created the through circle now I, I have to mirror this on this side so select this hole and click on mirror then I have to define the mirroring element so I have to define a plane be at the center of both the objects so this will be that plane which will be centered at both the object and ok at the mid of both the objects so in this way this has been created click on iso isometric view then what is remained is this fillet of radius for you so for that we will select here edge fillet edge fillet select the edges this one this is just orbit it and select this edge then if i is already given click on ok so in this way this object is also ready so in this way both objects are created Then if you want to see the next lecture, you can visit this video and if you want to solve next exercises, you can visit this video and if you want to view the complete playlist, you can visit this playlist here and if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe here. So thanks for watching, we will stop here.